Hey everybody, it's Son of Beast. Welcome back to the NBA play-in tournaments. That this is our it comes down to this. It's been between the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference of the last two, the battle for the eighth seed. The Hawks have beat against the Chicago Bulls the last part of the game, but now the Sixers are wanting to do is to take the next team out. They want them to try to destroy them, but they may not have any response if they can take over right from here. This is where the last matchup meets for the NBA play-in tournaments before the playoffs begin. And the other side will be the Warriors and the Kings on the other side. So you'll see them again here very soon on the other hand. But we'll keep your eyes shortly right in between. So this is it. The winner that wins this game will move into the NBA playoffs. Here are your starting lineups. Trey Young, Deontay Murray, Bogdan Bogdanovich, DeAndre Hunter, and Clint Capella. And the other side is Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, Kelly Oubre Jr., Tobias Harris, and Joel the Process of MB. Now for the last commentators I will have is Boomer, and he's along with the other commentators right in between of OJ and the third commentary of the crew, Ballpoint Pen. Let's get you down to the other side to start for the first play-in tournament of the first game for the Eastern Conference. Guys, all yours. See you later for the post-game show. And halftime report coming up will be Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, and Shaq O'Neal. Let's begin. It's the starting of the point in Philadelphia, and that is where the team does have it all. It's a part of the attackers, but it comes in as we get this thing settled and ready for the action. Hawks Sixers coming up after this. Greetings everyone in Philadelphia. I'm Boomer and I'm here with my broadcasting partner right in between of those two from the alley as I have it along with OJ and the first commentary of the crew start things off with Paul Pontaine. David Eldridge is also here on the sideline. As we're ready to get this thing wrapping to get to the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports, here are the lineups in between. As Kyle Lowry is with Tyrese Maxey. Tobias Harris is also checked in along with an other player of Kelly Oubre Jr. and MB to the center. Murray and Hunter are checking in, now on the board. It's also along with Capella, with Trey Young. And finally, we have across is Johnson. We start things off here on a board in Philadelphia, all field and ready to go. Here's Kyle Lowry. He starts things off with Maxi. He gives it off to Harris on the outside. Now gives it again to Oubre Jr. Jr. finds a pass to Harris. Harris on a shot. Two pointer starts it off here for Tobias Harris with his first bucket. It's a great way. And that's when you always know that Tobias Harris is that one making a lot of his time shots. Make that one clearer if he does. Here's Hunter, he starts things off as Capella will have it. On the throwdown, this one takes it off with a great stop. Oh, that is no way. I was able to see what Clay Capella was able to do that. That two hand jam slammed it down. I mean, that's no impact to do that all at once. You may never want to get that one like, far. And that was an unbelievable play. Brought to you by AT&T, the 5G slam cam. Kyle out. Now finds it over to Myris Maxi and Harris is on the outside. Harris gives a pass to Myris Maxi. For a step back, two-pointer makes it in as Tyrese Maxi with the first bucket. Now Chris Young, he will start his off here on the other side of the court and he now will have a screen coming. It is a take. Finishing a drive will be Trey Young. That will be his first bucket to make his appearance. Now there's no way but Trey Young has been taking over. His own tactics have been acquired in everything. But it doesn't really mean that he has it all been caged and bound. You may not know what you can definitely do, but that timing is a lot harder than I expect. Gotta make sure you get that one right clear in the way. Oh, what a block by Cabela. Oubre, shooting for three. Misses on the outside. That target's not going to keep in range in there. They really got to make sure they have that one all settled in. A better target doesn't mean you're getting you good at it. Here's the bias there, so he now finds Uber Jr. to finish the arc. This one takes it in for a two. 
give us all for our first one to take hold of his appearance, and you now know you can handle it all. The pressure gets on. Hunter, on Tobias Harris. Takes a look to Capella. He will count the bucket in there. And the first foul calls on Joel B with his first personal foul. It's not when you like that call. You don't even take a lot of time with that one often. You don't have the right response, and you can't let that one get over to it from you. On the other hand, it's not going to be easy enough when you take some time in. First free throw coming up here for the Atlanta Hawks with only 5.15 left to go. He only makes his first three two shots and missed the free throw. Here's Maxi. Now finds it over again to Harris. The pass. Maxi. Overhead to MB. MB. Space a shot. Goes right over. And Tobias Harris on the outside. Here's a look for Tyrese Maxi. Five on a shot clock. To finish the arc. And he makes it in. Tyrese Maxi with his second bucket. That track's not going to be impossible if you take all this time effort. That's what they all need to do. Make sure to get that one done. Oh, Murray makes that one done. After that one, it goes with Trey Young with the assists. Got a clean looking already. May have to look it over again. Here's MB with the finish. The drive puts in for Joel and B. First bucket. He's a he doesn't have a chance here for Kelly to go junior. And Bogdanovich finds out a red, young for three. He takes it in from the outside of the lane. They're up ahead by one. Gotta note that. Trey Young's been doing really good this play. But keep that in mind if these might be hot hands. Here's MB finishing the truck. Excellent defender by Clint Capella. But Clint Capella always had to make the drive out of it responsive, and that was a hard to take. It's not what you always do for. Don't let him handle it. He's going to take Trey Young. Now for the two, makes it in. And this one will make a first timeout call by the Philadelphia Sixers with 4.20 to go. They start things off that quickly, but they're not going to let that happen if they're going to try to keep on scoring it like that at all times. They need to make sure they have it all clear and responsible enough to get back in there to do whatever tactics on their, on their offensive skills. And this working playable is not going to be always perfect for enough to take ahead. We're getting ready to get started at the first playoff of the game, but here's the first game that's coming up for you. As we have the good matchups in between, we start things off here on the board, right in between of those two, that we got a great look of it in the center of this range, and this one will start things off. Truly yours. You get this thing with the first part of the game, as we have the fourth versus the fifth seed. Start things off here for the Magic versus the Knicks. Then, then follow it along with the next game as we send you over into the third seed versus the sixth seed. This one will be out on its way there momentarily as we got the next part of the matchups right in between of the Cavaliers and the, and the Pacers. Then the Western Conference will be the Thunders versus against the Pelicans. And finally, the Los Angeles Clippers against the Dallas Mavericks for the first four days of the game. And this game is not going to be all for anybody, but it's all here to watch and ready for playoff mode. That will be only on some of these. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. Here's the status now for Joel B. When his hustle goes to go be a great guy, I mean, he's all playing for like in Kansas University, but that was all that happened to play with his Jayhawks team. He really has that with a lot of great percentage to do all of his workout work. Here's Larry, finds a pass. Maxi in his center. Good try. This one starts off for Maxi. Third two quarter makes it in. Now this one keeps on coming. Tyrese Maxi's got to get that one done here right away. Here's Young. Spins. Finds a pass to Capella. And B on him. The pass back to Young. Screen. And this one puts up, and Alley Hoop makes it in from Clint Capella. That defensive breakdown effort as Trey Young puts in the assist. They're really pushing it. Not going to keep that one going if you're going to get that one done. 
Here's MP on his pitch, and good! Makes the number two. That's it now, close game comes in. 15 14 game. They're really like they want Joel and B to get that one back in there. Let's find out if he can make a flop. Here's Hunter, as right now he's in the center. Ball's loose. Kyle Lowry takes a steal. And Maxi will finish things off with a try. That layup is unable to reach. And the offhand Murray finds a getty up. Looks down to Murray. The screen. Puts it in. For a three. Misses a shot. And here's Lowry. He will have that, will have that ball. Now finding again to Tobias Harris. Harris now finds Lowry. Lowry. The pass. Deflecting. Holds on tight. And as Lowry gives it back to Tobias Harris for three. Triple range in. That one starts it off here to Tobias Harris with five points. Ranging in from targets. Never going to let that happen if you're slowing it down. Go. Trying to find a pass. Hook it up by Joel and B. And here he comes with the fast break and who breaks? Slams it down. This one really is going to take a lot of time. But that's a lot for what Kelly Oubre has done. Now here's the pass to Young. And a spin move. Only for three. Outrange outside. Lamps in and he scoops it in. Now back down by two. We're under two minutes remaining in the first period in the, in, in the game. And Harris, off to Lowry, up in the paint, and good. Kyle Lowry with his first bucket. He's really taking all this time. But Kyle Lowry seems not to be a possible guy, but he has been playing him with the Miami Heat, but the day is never worth the while of his following game. As Kyle Lowry has been taking a lot of his time, the effort won't pick it up. Now, the next time I was going to call by Philadelphia, by Atlanta Hawks, they'll take his first time out as they'll get ready to have that look for the next period, next quarter of the game. Substitution on the court for the 76ers and the Hawks as a couple players are checked off and on the court. Four players are checked off, four players are checked on the court. As Griffin, Matthews, Marie, and Bernardo are checked in. And another team will make a new change up as all five players checked out. Two, Field, and of course, Reed are checked in. Now Maxi, final pass, up to two. The two gives it again to Reed. Maxi on the outside, not finding a look. With the finish, he's back. And it's Wesley Matthews with his first first one. That's a good contact foul. That is going to take a lot of more time, but he gets this one there first. Now, I really definitely want Maxi to have that free throw. He's really like onto it. I said, I want to do free throws. He looks like he wants to have it all. We're done for sure. It's the first free throw. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, definitely that Tyrese Maxey is definitely really like all in key pressure range. Might be saying if he could definitely try to like keep on scoring. But the basket is never worth it. He has to find another way if he can definitely make his offense with a lot of perception, take some time to roll it over again. Maxey gets the second free throw. Now Murray will have the ball. Now finds the pass to Griffin. He needs to take. The layup. No good. As this one is rebounded by Reed and he gives it off to Tobias Harris. Harris slides a step back. He finds the two. The two gives to Reed. Layup. He's off the rim and it's rebounded by Fernando. Matthews. Right toward the inside. Fernando gives it again to Murray. Now finds Hunter. With a screen. Looks in the middle. Reach a foul. Called on Paul Reed with 30 seconds. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul.
Now I'm gonna look for AJ Griffin. He finds Murray. Looks inside the paint. Griffin. Double man on him. Matthews for three. Rebound by Fernando. And just went in and there after it just hit off the side of the back of it of the rim. And it went in. Wait so long already. I mean, I don't know what is going on, but it seems like it's not happening. It almost turned out to be almost a wedgie. Oh, Murray. If this is almost a wedgie, don't let that happen. We won't let it go. Here's the take. A two for the bus shot. And he makes it in. That's the end of the first quarter. 25 to 19 is the score. Start things off with the two with the buzz beat. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. You're watching the NBA play-in tournaments only on 2K Sports. Maybe just tuning in, we're ready to start the second period. Great start so far as the Sixers have a 25 over 19. Let's have your take, guys. Well, they really are stepping it into it now. It's just what the pressure has makes sense. It doesn't really mean that they're really perfect on their lineup. But it's not for always that they've really been going over a chance for many amount of timing. But there is no angle that they're just going to try to like push a step on them if they really are going to get that one offended. We start things off in the second period, second quarter, as we get this thing off, starting off for Matthews. He misses that three-pointer lock. Always with Fernando. And it's for two on AJ Griffin. And Trey Young is on Cameron Payne. And Buddy Heal, he's with the long left there. Our guy, the left hung group. Hey, now finds for two. Two, that was fast as in Reed. Reed takes the pass to the two. Looks it out over again. Hey, with the shot. This one takes it in as Cameron Payne with his post bucket. That's a hard shot. But Cameron Payne never really wants to leave that one. That's up behind. Another pass. Fernando finds you up. Yeah, reach and foul ball on D'Anthony Melton as he will have his first stop. And it's three team, three players coming on the court. As Hunter will check in. It's checked out. And Matthews also checked out as well. Fields checked out as now MB will check in with Kelly Ubray Jr. For Paul Reed. Here's it out with Capella. Finds a shot for Bogdanovich, and he may have that one in. This one comes back down by five, as Clint Capella with the assist. This is really going to be a, like a hard take. You're never going to find it, and you've got to make sure you're in the attack room range. This motion is never going to happen, like, at all. And what a way that Joel and B does this. you got to make sure you have that one a percentage in there if he has the right time. Yeah, Bogdanovich for three. Two times in a row won't stop, and this one goes with a hard foul ball on Kelly Ubre Jr. With under 6.50 left to go in the second quarter. First team foul called on Philadelphia Sixers to start for the second period quarter. That's now Clint Capella's at the free throw line shooting, too. That's no way to handle it, and this is not when you pick the respection out of it. You don't start things off here. You gotta make sure you have that line attacking, and you can't let that one fool you. First free throw went off a roll around a rip. You know, I say that Clint Capella was really like an excellent uh, star, but that attrition making, it's not really uh, helpful. When he does all of his time effort, he was definitely really wanting to go with all of his career motion. The better eye of is, he may not be the next generation in there. He might be the next one to come in to stay back in. Or could it be helpful right away? I don't know. But you may not find out. If there's another group change off the other way. Now he finds again Melton, and he has a pass to Cameron Payne to finish the drive, and he makes a stupid. Cameron Payne with two, four, four points in this game. Now that's a lot of great helpful on the advantage. Reporter for David Aldridge asks Nick Nurse has been talking to Cameron Payne about how his hard deception goal has turned in. It's not what he does for it, all his sudden takes. You know, whatever happens now, they've really got to make sure they have it all in preparation. They say that Cameron Payne has been really like a hard work off, but it doesn't mean that he's not really like a superstar player. He's got to make sure he's like all in for two and give that one a good attentional run to get that skills and come. They need to make sure he's all in preparation to have it all coming in. Because when he doesn't handle it, 
He's going to be not ready at all. That one with two makes a three. Has that one extended up 34 to 25. That is a big three. What a take for the two. And now Young will have it again. Fernando now finds Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich slides it across. Three for Matthews. Takes it in. This one puts a number one for for a three for Wesley Matthews as this one will pick up 34-28. And now he picks off to the two. Looks again to Bain. Bain gives out again to Melton. Melton trying to fire his way down here. But two for number three. Picked up by Embiid. Ellie Ray in the corner. Inbound takes it. Hey guys, that one knocking the threes in. Blue Ray Jr. has now got seven points. Off in range, let a three rain. That starts off Ella Kelly Uber. Three for Matthews. Another miss by Atlanta. They've been missing it off ever since they're not keeping an eye on a touch already. They can't let that one leave alone. Cameron Payne hey, does a lover layup drop. And he has six points of his bucket. Young with the ball. Now the timeout's been called by the Atlanta Hawks with only 423 to go. Well, talk it over now. Quinn Snyder needs to have to find another way to get back into it. Change here for the Atlanta Hawks and the Sixers. Now for number new switch up as Cameron Bates checked out and Kelly Kyle Lowry checked in. The fella now finds Bogdanovich. Three for Matthews. And that goes off the rip. Joel and Beans got his sixth rebound of the night. Now finds Kyle Lowry. Looks it over. Two for MB. It's in. The range puts up with a good takeoff look in the between. And B's got eight points with just four minutes. Now, perhaps we have no joke here for Joel and B. He's like a stock. Legendary players can't let that one score if they know how to keep that coming. Three for Matthews. And that goes in with a number three pointer. Matthews has his first three pointer. It's now back down by 10. He now finds Kelly Oubre Jr. Jr. Roll again. And B now finds Lowry with only 3.30 to go. Outside, Kelly Oubre. Oubre now gives over to Nicholas Batum. All the way for the free throw line. It's good. Nicholas Batum with 7 points. 43-31. Now that score and drive is just not what you always say, but that is a great look. Another chance here for the Hawks and they made to make another miss. Now it's back to Melton with three minutes. Now he finds MB. Looks again to Uwe Jr. Uwe Jr. Now finds it over again to Larry. Larry swings it over again to Batum. Batum for the three. That hits off the rip. Bogdanovich takes the rebound and this one goes under three minutes to go. Yup. No. Spins through, finds Capella, and it goes up. Great D by MB. And MB's been lifting it though. He has to make sure he's uh he's all settled in. And he's almost gonna take a lot of his effort work. Ubre for three. Another three point range is in as Ubre's got ten. He's been flying like a machine. It doesn't happen to Lou that he's flying making threes like it's possible. The rebound puts it for MB. Eight rebound of this game, now finding Larry. Off to MB. Just down to two minutes remaining in the second period, second quarter in the first half. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two in the middle. Looks at MB to finish it. Art and makes a drive hit. 
Ogre Juno saw MB as he makes a floater and Nicholas Matoon with the assist. He's just putting it in there. What a great work, Hayes. Great work on the offense, and now Scoot's going to pick it up. Time on call by the Atlanta Hawks with under two minutes remaining in the lead for South. Coming up later will be the halftime show as, as right now Ernie Johnson takes it over with Kenny Jet Smith and Shadow O'Neal. That will be on the other side of the court coming underway after the first half of the game. You may not want to miss this one, but if you're looking forward into that, into this part of the game, there's only a few part of the tickets here that you will be able to enter in. Plus, they're giving out some new plushies here with some great luck a taco and evil leafy plushie. Yes, that's right. Look, you know what I was always saying, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of scary, but I don't want that one to get hurt for right over me. Well, not for long. Always can't help. I'm not even really saying I don't play for kill. It's never, it's never gonna happen like that. All of a sudden, nobody wants to know that. Now we go at line group substitutional as new players come on the court. Here's Capella. He now finds Griffin. Now finds Hunter for three. And takes it in there as a number three pointer comes in by and it's just now coming to a 90 second. Maxi decides to take his time out with nearing the 90 second mark and we'll have to make new changes on the court. Great idea. That's when he all comes in there, he's got to make sure he's all prepped up. Nearing a 90 second mark, we'll be back after this. With some new substitutional changes, right now we take a look over for Deontay Murray. This is part of the game, which is only March. Before he days comes in to start low, before a higher range picks up. You know, every time of this one doesn't happen to be anybody. And you really have to say that it can be a lot of hard ones to take with Deontay Murray. Not the only take you want to be, but you've got a lot of learning to take. Harris gives the maxi. Three for Larry. And this one is off the rim and it goes back again to the Hawks as Matthews will have it. Finds the pass. On her up again, makes a shot. As DeAndre Hunter has a number two bucket. And it's Matthews with the assist. They are really have been pushing it up already. They are not putting it here. They don't want to let that one leave alone. And they can't let that one force out. Here's the pass. Now finds Harris. Harris now gives again to Larry. Three for Tyrese Maxi. And it's in. Outside the range. Puts it up. Maxi with 11 points and Larry with the assist. They are just showing a lot of signs out there. Tyrese Maxi on the roll. Three for Hunter. It goes in. Not the other way it goes. 51 39 is the score. Not to be more clearer than that if you want to take it. Lowry now finds again on Maxi. He finds again at Harris. Harris works his way across. Now find Maxi on the outside is Lowry. Lowry gives it again to Maxi and it's ball stolen by Matthews. Here's the fast break for Griffin. Griffin now finds again to Murray on the layup. It's off the mark, and it's back again to Harris. They don't need to take this another shot, since they will let the clock wind down. Harris slides it back, now finds again a Lowry. Three seconds to shoot, and Maxi will finish off the first half. 51-39 to score. Great start for the Sixers. Third period, coming up later after the halftime. But well, let's go to David Aldridge on the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. This is too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. We'll be, thank you for that. And we'll be right back with you soon after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and even Jeff Smith. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are leading by 12. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? 
Well, they've shown a lot of discipline on the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the quick shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on it. What happened if they did that defense? Guys were getting burned on the collection. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get it. Oh, that pretty much covers everything. That's a shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're about to get started for the third quarter. We welcome you back at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Taking a look at the big status out there, we call for Tyrese Maxey. His better performance in his offense got him pretty clean looking. He's been on a great game so far in the first half. The better of this playing offense doesn't really mean that he is really excellent. But performance knows his coverage does kick it off when he does know how he can handle it. Yeah, better shots has been pretty great actually. And they really are looking it over right now. They have a lot of time to have that one pressured it. The region foul falls on for Tyrese Maxey on his first personal. We start things off here in the third quarter as now there's a couple players checking in. DeAndre Hunter, he's with on Kyle Lowry. Then across him here is, is Trey Young on Tyrese Maxey. Following along right now with Terrell Embiid, he is with a number one to take with Tobias Scaris. And Kelly Oubre Jr. looking for him on his way. With Bogdanovich on his way in the middle. Then Clint Capella right into the door to the center of the zone. Of the zone. And across from here on the other side, we have an all no for Dave Johnson. Here's the pass. Now finds again to Lowry. Lowry gives again to Uber Jr. Uber Jr. up for two. A chance misses again. It's not going to be really good right now because he can't let that one score if he gets it going. Well, with the three, hastes it in there on the outside of the range. It's now backing down 51 to 44. Darius Maxi with the ball. Now gives off to Tobias Harris. Harris gives to Maxi. Maxi swings it over. Now finds again to Uwe Jr. Uwe Jr. gives again to Larry. Larry steps it inbound, scores. It's stopped by Clint Capella as he has his first personal foul. Number team foul for Atlanta. Oh man, there's a lot of contacts already. They're having a little bit of trouble out there. They're not giving it good already. They have to make sure they can't let that one leave the mark out of the zone. They want to make sure they have the full timing to get it done. Free throw coming up here for the Kyle Lowry for the first free throw coming in for the Sixers. Just stop the clock here, we're just only under seven minutes. It's the first free throw in. And he hits the second free throw. Here's Young. Has his way down. Kyle Lowry with four points. Now has Hunter. Open look for the three. Moves in now. Joel Embiid's got his ninth free back. Off to Uwe Jr. To do it again. Drive off. Wait a minute. As Uwe Jr. has 12 points. He's really keeping an eye on that one here. Kelly Uwe Jr. has been scoring a bucket steal. Hunter for the two. Makes it in. Now we're putting in extra bound, now has it out, and it's putting another one for the Hawks. Lowry, now has it over again to Harris. Looks again to Lowry. Lowry, slides back again to Uber Jr. Looks again to Ed, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, over with the drive, makes it in! Joel Embiid with 12 points. He has been on fire tonight. Every game, you always know Joel Embiid does have it all. It's a cover to make sure he does have improved all of his work ethic on his day. Every offense doesn't keep it clean and make sure they have it done right. And here's Uwe Jr. Has the ball. Down finds again Harris and a layup puts it. Tobias Harris with 17 points 
540 left to go in the third quarter of the game. Trey Young trying to find some help. Looking for Hunter. Hunter. Young for the triple range. And the arc there. No good. Although he now finds Joel and B. 520 left to go in the third quarter. And Maxi for the two. And that range in the floor takes it in. Maxi with 13 points, assisted by Kyle Lowry. Now it's been coming a long way now to me. Kyle Lowry's been bringing up a lot of great assists on that point. Number three point misses off again. Joel B receiving another one to take, and he is officially on fire right now. He has 12 rebounds in this game. Under five minutes, here's Maxi. Maxi now finds MB. In for two, go! Joel B with 14 points after a 6 by Tyrese Maxi. He is already like on a machine, just keeping it on in there, but if there's no block to take, well, let's hope there is. But the fella up for the two. Racing it in between, and it's now coming back down with another defensive breakdown. There's the problem. Can't let that one defensive breakdown get you in the way. And now he's another team for Maxi. Batsy, now finds it over again, Ubo Jr. Down to six on the shot clock. Good defensive effort for Clint Capella. Has it a rebound and now finds Murray. Murray, for a side stepper. Two pointer, no good. Number 13 rebound, and Lowry will have it over. Decided to add some motion play in between. And this one will keep it out. Maxi. Is in the outside to finish the arc. The finish and drive has been stopped, but McDonovich has picked up his foul. That's what happens when McDonovich can't let that one go right by. He has been look like he is knocking over it right in between. Can't let that one lose over on you. It's another make or miss. Darius Maxi in the free throw line shooting two with only 344 left to go. It's a first free play. These substitutions on the court. A couple players from the Hawks are checking out. And a couple players of the Hawks are checking in. Murray and Capella are out. Fernando and Matthews are checked in. The Sixers are making these changes. Joel and Beach checked out. And now checking back in will be Paul Reed, along with Melton, Buddy Heald, and you know it. All does for now. Nicholas Patu. Now, Trey Young, 340 left to go in the third quarter of the game. Matthews for three. This one, range outside, puts it up again. 65 over 51 is a score. Now, here's Maxi to look for ER to give it off to Heal. Heal, 320 left to go. And Maxi gets again to Patu. Patu, try to give off to Maxi. And here's another take for Melhead. Steps up for two, and he has it in there. And he finally has his first bucket, and healed with the assist. Now, Kim has been really going over this now, but he's like a great person to deal with the pass, and done it again. Fernando makes a layup. It's now a 67-53 game. Darius Maxi. Back to Reed. Gets it over now again to Milton. Bounce pass again to Maxi. Maxi spins the drive. Up and over. And a look ahead for Buddy Heal. He has his first bucket. That one takes it off for Buddy Heal. He makes that one first layup in. What a look. This playoff is not going to be your star if Buddy Heal has it off. Time out goal by Atlanta Hawks with only under 2.30 to go. And they are wrapping it up here in Philadelphia. Uh, the better star does have it all. He just looks like they wanted to give it all they've got. Now you know what they're talking, buddy Neil. Show the crowd response. The NBA playing tournaments on 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas. State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Starry Lives. 
now with some new, new changes here as the Hawks are making a little game change up on the offense and a defense will be picked up here for the Sixers. The three can't drop, but Matthews does it again. Now here's Spain with 2.19 to go. The pass to Melton. Melton finds a drive for Buddy Heal, he makes it. He has his second bucket. A great pass puts in for Melton. He's been looking like he wants to get a good open pass in there. Three for Hunter. Trips a lane, and he makes it enough to get him back in the range of 71 58 game. That's what they all can't do. They can't let that one leave off the market. They have a handle. Reed finishes it off with the right hand. Oh, Reed has his first bucket, finally dug it in. Ball's loose, and it's stolen by Reed. Reed, here comes Melton. Drive, scoops it. And now this is up here for Melton with his second bucket of the night. Now McDonovich. Murray. McDonovich for three. Hits a triple. And the range keeps on coming. It's a 75-61 game. They're in a final minute in the third quarter as he gives it over. That ball stolen by McDonovich. Here comes the fast break as Payne is on Bogdanovich. And here's another one. Off of the shot, foul, and rolls out. Paul Reed with a second personal foul and a second team foul for Philadelphia. That is going to take a lot of his time work. This one is not going to be easy when you take some shot times right in between. And now Bogdanovich has to go to the line and shoot for two. He has to make sure he makes it in there for two of his points. Take it all when he can. It's the first free throw. Now a new substitution coming in. That's right now will be Wesley Matthews checking in for Fernando. The two Matthews are checked in. Now McDonald has one shot to go. And he makes the second free throw. Here's Spain. Off again to, to Mellon. Mellon gives it down to Payne. Payne looks it over, finds Batum, and now finds Heal. Nine seconds to shoot. And here's Batum shot. This one's knocked off the mark. And DeAndre Hunter has been fouled. 39 seconds left to remain in the third period, third quarter of the game. 71, 63, 75, 63 is the score. He is the first free throw with him too. Well, he's like one of his professional, and he has definitely been playing with the Clippers. After that, his transfer goes over, and now he's definitely putting it in for the Sixers. And he gets the second free throw. 35 seconds left to remain in the third period. Griffin for the three. It's missed outside again. And it's Buddy Beal. He definitely has received it right now as he will have his second first rebound of the night. Buddy Beal has six points. And with 30 seconds left to remain in the third quarter, he now has it off to Murray. 20 seconds left to go. Murray. Tries to leave it off, and that jump shot goes in for the Hunting Murray. Here's Payne as the time is ticking down. Payne, ball for deep, and won't be enough. That ends the third quarter. 79 65 to score. And the fourth quarter is underway next, after this. 
It's time now to present your New Balance and State Farm since the game is on. Now I like that play call, that earlier range play of game for the Sixers, and that one gives it off to Uber Jr. He finishes it off with the throwing down, but that one turned to be like a little foul and he had. So glad you're happy with us, and now we finish off the fourth quarter in the play-in tournaments of the Eastern Conference. Now, the start puts in for Joel Embiid. And oh boy, almost putting a step in bound as Harris will give it over back to Maxi. He's also with on, on the Hawks. That's right now with Uber Jr. and Buddy Heald. And finally, we have Cyrus Maxi on the other side, looking for the back of Harris, and Joel Embiid right toward the corner. And beat shot went missing. Flint the pallet back again to Murray. 7.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. The screen puts up here for a Kungu. Matthews for the three. Raging inside out. And B delivering it all. He has his 14th rebound and it goes back again to Ray Jr. Now has it again to Harris. The bounce pass. And up with the shot. And misses again. Oh, that one's going to be a lot of big take if he had to have that one with another bucket count. If there was no foul, he's got to have to try and fix something else. Look at Capella, he makes a try. And this one puts another assist here for the Atlanta Hawks. Capella's got 13 points in this game in first and second half. He now finds it again. Heal. Right over to get a Harris and now finds Maxi. He's now over to Uber Jr. 10 on a shot clock. Maxi for the two. Another miss by the Philadelphia Sixers. While they're shooting it not really well. They are definitely like not helping us out. But that one is going to take too much time if he's getting it through. Wow, another three pointer. This is not a joke, is it? Maxi hits a free three pointer and now he's got the heels. He's over now again, Maxi. Maxi finds a spin shot. And he takes it in. Maxi, the 81, over 70, he has 17 points. Now that's what you always say for now, because I really like that Tyrese Maxi is starting out with a get. He's really a stepping in pro. And there's a foul call on Joel B. That's the second personal. And their first team foul call on Philadelphia. Now, this is not what you really want to do. Clay Capella. He's been really nasty already. He didn't think like he was going to take all of his look. And this effort can't let him stop down. That flow is going to take a lot of worthy credit to have him stop all down. Two shots. Two shots. He makes the first free throw. Now it's a new substitution. It's now checking back on the court. Will be another player that you can call for. This time, it's Boba Bogdanovich. And the Sixers are also making their changes here as two players checked out. Neil and Maxi are checked out, and Larry and Maxi moves over back to the starting five. And he missed the second. Only one out of two free throws put in for the Atlanta Hawks. Now Kyle Larry finds it over again to the great junior. Oubre Jr., excuse me. And a layup puts it in. Oubre Jr. has gotten his 14th bucket of the game. That's where it keeps on coming. Oubre Jr. has been scoring big. Wow, what a take. Yeah. Reaching over. He now tries to find another way to get right by him. And it's blocked by Harris. Gives it over. Young for three. And good. Outside puts it up. It's now down to a five minute game. Oh, they've been really like they want some three pointers badly, but they can't let that one settle down too soon. Another take for Maxi. Maxi. Picks it up. The two pointer can't hold on. That one's not easy. They really are starting to shut off like they're getting like trash out. The three! My goodness, Trey Young does another three-pointer in the range. And Tyron will be called by Tyrese Maxi. He's going to hold it on with just under five minutes remaining. And we'll get you right in for the next part of the period. 
the NBA playing tournaments on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. Live fast, reliable, and secure. And by Ruffles. The official chip of the NBA. New groups of additional changes for the Sixers and for the Hawks as we're back for our new changes. Here's a take you from David Aldrich as he has been talking to one of his head coach in between with Quinn Schneider from the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, he has a lot of it going right into the hustle. He's been talking to one of them and he's been saying, this is our day. We have to make sure we are all in preparation. No one's going to get onto attackers, but you've got to show some uh, love and you can trust them. Give a good look. And they really have been having a little bit of a hard time. It's never what you really wanted to do. You can't let that happen. And if something happens to go with the defensive breakdown and set, they can't let that one roll over. Here's the other for the outside. Rolls in. McDonald's for three. And he takes it in. Three pointer has makes it in. They're down by five. Oh boy, they're running it down right now. It's going to be a close game. Here's MB. Dancing and trying. Oh, what a believable run. Juwan beat at 16 points. And here's now a take for Donovich. Hunter tries to roll it in. Ball's loose. Rebounded by Murray. Free for McDonovich. Takes another rebound here as Harris has got his third rebound. 87-80 as they trail by 7. Sixers up by 7. Now they take again to Harris. Full bounce pass. Lowry up one overhead to MB. Six on a shot clock. Here's a step back for the two. And he will take another rebound. Now for a rebound here as Uber Jr. gets back to MB. Another two is hits it in. MB showing a crowd with the rumble noise. He is just going crazy right now. And look how the process does. He makes a lot of his work prior to take the living. Time off ball by the Atlanta Hawks was just under three minutes to go. They really are starting to go over it now. They make sure that everybody stays quiet right now. They're making that one for the missing team to end their game here. Looks like they're not going back to the playoffs again. And we do have some time now to present your New Balance player of the game, Joel B. Joel B is the biggest process of the, of the player who does it for all of his perception. After returning from the injury, he seemed like he is really up for a never-taking matchup. That's what everybody does for now. He's been like a great person, definitely showing him off a real MVP. Stars. Can't get rid of our favorite, Joel the Process of MB. And that, yeah, the process is definitely getting the old things down. I mean, he's like a killer. We love having him here on the Sixers. And yeah, you. And this one's knocked away. And here comes MB to go for dunk, and he dies. Oh, yeah, you bet that one for MB. He has 20 points. Everyone's just going wild, proud of the noise right now. Oh my! He's done it. Oh, and Cabello had that answer back. Now there's a chance over there. That Cabello is going to take a lot of effort to take over this. It's not what you always do. Don't take the effort of it. Now he finds it. Here's MB. Shoot fades. Now finds again a Harris. Looks again, Maxi. Now uh, back to Uber Jr. For two. From the shoulder, no good. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the game. Now here's a pass to Hunter. And Hunter can make the shot go in. Losing control back again to Joel B. Finish off the drive, and he takes it in. Joel B has 22 with under two minutes. That's what he can take now. Joel B closes off with a great finish. 
Denier straight up. Gives off to Donovich for three. And number three misses for Atlanta. They're shooting out of gas right now. They're not showing a lot of great for signage out there. And they're losing everybody. It's not what you all take for. You have a lot of them to go with the ball, the ball of your group. And your team's going to keep on coming down to a wire. They're having a difficult time to make some shots. Layup puts in for Kelly Uber Jr. With 16 points in this game, it's 95-82. They're in a final minute remaining in the fourth quarter as Trey Young now finds the pass. Murray gives again. And Capella shot. Great defensive effort for Joel Embiid. And now he's picked up his 18th rebound. We are under a minute right now in the fourth period. Fourth quarter, excuse me. Now he finds again. Lowry for the two. And good. He makes the number two for the Sixers as Lowry has six. That six-pointer is going to take lots of effort here, but Kyle Lowry didn't seem like he wants to give up. Murray for three. Misses again as Joel Embiid picks it up as 19 rebound. Down to 30 seconds. And Harris, crowd on her feet. Lowry, pick it over again to Harris. Final seconds on a shot clock. Lowry, this side, for the three for Harris, and he does it. That's his three-pointer of the game as Harris has 10. Oh man, everybody's loving it now. I mean, that's it. Game night, and Sixers are ready to play in the playoffs. And that's going to do it. As for the Sixers, they beat against the Atlanta Hawks the 10th seed. 100 to 82 is your final score, ready to take on the first round against the Celtics. All big games ever happen now, they're going to leave it off to a mark. Chance now to send you over to David Aldridge for the courtside player of the game. Hey, David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted and I played into the floor of the offense and my teammates were fine with me, so I just not got some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, because you had it going on. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to wrap it up for a play-in tournament complete for the Eastern Conference. This is Boomer, along with Paul Point Penn and OJ. Thanks for joining us here for the Eastern Conference of the play-in tournament for when to get in. And we'll see you all for the NBA playoffs. Until next time, have a great night, everybody. All right, Boomer, thank you so much. That ends the first part of the game as the Sixers make their way into the playoffs to face against the number one seed team in the Eastern Conference as they battle against the rematch of the Boston Celtics. This time, it happens to be one of it. 72 over 48 for the field goals for the 76ers. 42 three-pointers was only the Hawks, but only 100 free throws was the Sixers. Fast break points was 11. Then 52 points in the paint for the Sixers. 13 th second chance points for the Atlanta Hawks. Then a bench points was 27 and 42 assists for Philadelphia Sixers. 11 offensive rebounds for Atlanta. 26 defensive rebounds for Philadelphia Sixers with 4 steals and 3 blocks. It looks like it had turned out to be everything okay. But, as you may already know, it just can't help it. Four turnovers with points off, and three turnovers, three turnover for the Philadelphia Sixers, it's even up. 14 fouls was Atlanta with five dunks. Then it was 18 biggest lead for the Sixers, and 1741 was their time of possession for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now it's time to present your three star players of game. Starting with the third star, we go right in over to start off with the Hawks. Trey Young with 18 points, 1 rebound, and 10 assists. Only had made 7 out of 9 field goal range, 4 three-pointers, and 5 three-pointers first and second half. And it was 41 performances on an effort, only had finished one of them. And that was all it take for him to take all his time effort. Now let's roll into number 2. Tyrese Maxey has 19 points with 5 assists. Only got 7 out of 9 field goal range, only one three-pointer from the first half and one three-pointer on the second half. 29 performance run turned out a best effort that he has been going through. A lot of his technique scores. 
And your first star player to game for your New Balance player to game, Joel the Process of MB. 22 points, 19 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks, 11 out of 14 field goals, and only had just one three pointer. But I don't think that wasn't that true because of that. He was on a two point line. Well, it might have been, but he tried it. Could have got the effort to take over it. And 32 performance effort with one dunk. Well done for Joel Embiid. He's been like a process of the all-game effort. And that's going to wrap it up for the Eastern Conference of the play in, uh, play in tournaments for when to get in. Stick around as we got the Kings and the Warriors on the other side. That will be coming up there shortly at 10 p.m. So you don't want to miss that one out here on the other side of the game. So if you join this part, please consider you by subscribing the button here below along liking the video. And leave a comment box here down below. I would be happy to appreciate you all for the next part of the game. Keep your eyes tuned here as we've got an NBA playoffs starting underway soon after this game. So with that, thanks for watching. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA play-in tournament on 2K Sports Style. This is Son of Beast, and I'm out of here. Have a great night in brotherly love of Philadelphia. If you don't... Somebody will.